hi everybody welcome back to a new tutorial in this video i'll be showing you how to make this lovely set a crop top and a pant if you want to learn how to do this you watch this video to the end and if you like this video please give me a huge thumbs up if you're new here please do not forget to subscribe and also put on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video thank you guys so much for all your likes and your support i do appreciate it so the materials i'll be needing first i'll be needing uh, my pattern paper pattern master tape ruler scissors and a pencil now i'll be drafting my crop top first before we move over to the pants so on my pattern paper i have my pattern into two i folded it into two i'll be drafting the front and the back together so basically what i've done here is on my on the top of my paper i ruled a line which is going to serve as the guide for my measurement so that will also be my shoulder line like i said my partner paper is into two because i'll be drafting the front and the back together so from that line that i took on the top part of the paper i'm going to take my um my bust line that's my bust point and from there i'll be taking my um waist line now for the crop top i'm going to be making use of 17 inches so basically your crop top is not supposed to be um longer than 17 or 18 inches otherwise it's no longer a crop top so you can use make use of 16 inches depending on how high you want it or how low you want it but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 17 inches because I want it to be a little bit high. Okay, a little bit low, sorry. So I'll be using 17 inches. So that new line that I just drew right now is my bust line. And on my, sh on my shoulder line, I placed my tape there and to get the waistline. So like I said, I'm making use of 17 inch. I'm, going to, I'm just going to mark 17 inch there. And next, I'm going to distribute it evenly just so that when i draw my horizontal line i have equal lines so now i'm just distributing the points at both sides of my paper and after distributing it i'm going to use my pattern master to connect the points together now that i've marked my bust line and my my waistline next what i'm going to do is to start placing all of our measurements now you know how we drafted the basic bodies pattern it is very very similar so if you've not seen a video on how i drafted the basic bodies pattern i will suggest you go and watch that and i'll also leave the link here in the description box so i have labeled the last line which is um, my waistline and my bust line so the remaining part of the paper is going to be for my seam allowance now on my shoulder line i'm going to take my shoulder measurements which is um, 14 inches divided by two i have seven and on that point i'm going to come down by one inch which is the shoulder slope so from that shoulder slope i'm going to take my uh, neck width so for the neck width of this top i'm going to make use of three and a half and for the neck depth i'll also be making use of three and a half or four inches so the trick here is that for the for a crop top you don't want your neck to be too low and you don't also if you want you don't want your neck to be too low just basically it's so now that i've taken my neck measurement so i'll also take the neck depth for the back for the back i'll be making use of one inches for the neck depth and i'm just going to use my pattern master to um, create that curve for the neck now that i've created the neckline for the front and the back i'm just going to draw the shoulder slope meeting the one inch um, that i sloped from my shoulder and from that point i'm going to be creating the armhole depth and armhole curve so for the armhole depth here i'm going to be making it of eight inches just because i want the top to be much more free and i want the armhole area to be free as well so i'll take eight inches and I'm going to also mark across, make sure that it's seven inches, and then use my straight, my pattern master, sorry, to draw a straight line connecting from the shoulder slant up to until where the eight inches stop that I marked on my pattern. And from there, I'm going to draw a line outward, and that line is going to be the chest line. So now that we've created the chest line, we are going to go over to the armhole depth and we are going to create the armhole. So to create the armhole, what you need to do is to place your tape 
on the line that we created from the shoulder slant down to where the chest line is so you place your tape on that straight line and you're going to get the midpoint now on the midpoint you just indicate where it is on the paper now if you watch the basic bodies you discover that we went in half an inch inward on the on the um, chest line but because this is going to be a crop top you don't need to go in the front and the back the armhole is going to be the same so on my chest line i placed quarter of my bust measurement plus half an inch just because i also want the top to be free now when you place the uh, 9.5 inch on the chest line you take your pattern master and you create the curve for your armhole so basically that is it for the armhole next what i'll be doing after creating the curve for the armhole i'm going to just um, go ahead and create the sides of my of my pattern now because this is a crop top and it's going to be boxy you wouldn't need to shape the waist and you don't need a dart for this so on the waistline whatever i have on my chest line i'm going to place it on my waistline so i have 9.5 on my chest line and i placed it on my waistline and we're going to just connect the two points together with the straight line same thing we did for the bust is what we're going to be doing for the waist it's as simple as that and also do take note that i'm going to be adding a zipper to this pattern so the zipper is going to be at the side that is why i didn't need to add uh, a zipper at the back of the pattern so i'm going to just add my seam allowances all around the pattern and the next thing we are going to do is to cut out the pattern and after we've cut out the pattern we are done for this so i'm going to just divide um open up my pattern to indicate which part is the front and which part is the back so i'm just going to um, divide my pattern open up my pattern into two just to reveal the back and the front and do make sure that before you cut out your pattern you cut out the back first before cutting out the front so on the back i'm just going to indicate what the back is and you just need to cut one piece why because you're going to be um cutting the back on fold and the front two on fold so each of the patterns you're going to be cutting one piece for it so the back and the front i've added all of my annotations and i ordered what each of the part is you can see that the back neckline is separate from the front neckline and do note that you're going to be cutting each of this piece on fold and you're just going to be cutting out one for it Okay, and also for my sleeve, I'm going to be making use of 10 inches for my sleeve and I marked that already. And on that paper, I'm going to be marking my cap height. If you don't know how to uh, calculate your cap height, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can check out the video on how I drafted a basic sleeve pattern and a short sleeve pattern. So after marking my cap height, I'm going to just uh, rule that across with a straight line now that we've gotten a straight line on that cap height line i'm going to place my armhole measurement so my armhole i used the armhole i used on my crop top was eight inches i'm going to place eight inches on that line and i'm going to be adding half an inch to it remember that we added half an inch to our bust line so i'll add half an inch to it as well making it 8.5 and next i'm going to just um connect the points like so so i'm just going to draw a straight line from the points to the top of the sleeve now because we didn't do any modifications for the bodies of my crop top i'm just going to use my ruler to get a curve for my sleeve and basically that's all we need for the sleeve next what you're going to do is to get the sleeve round sleeve so for my round sleeve i don't want my sleeve also to be too tight so i'm going to just give it an opening of half an inch as well so i'm going to be making it a six and a half inches i place that on my sleeve uh, on my round sleeve and i'm going to connect it with a slant line down to where the cap height is so next after that i'm going to just go ahead and add half an inch seam allowance to my sleeve and the sleeve is ready so basically that is just it for the sleeve and then after adding the seam allowance to the sleeve i'm going to just cut out my pattern and we are done with the bodies and the sleeve so after cutting out this pattern next up we're going to be cutting out we're going to be cutting out the sleeve and also make sure that you cut your sleeve on fold so when you're cutting this on your fabric when you place it on your fabric you're going to be um cutting this on fold so i'm going to just indicate all of my annotations on my sleeve and you're also cutting two pieces because you have two arms so you need two sleeve for the um body so i've just added all of my annotations and also indicated that 
you're cutting this unfold when you place it on your pattern so for those of you asking me how to cut out the pattern on the fabric just place it on your fabric and cut out the exact shape make sure that you hold it down with paint so that is it for my sleeve moving over to the shirt for my shirt i have my pattern paper already and i also went ahead to draw a starting line on the edge of my paper if you've not seen a video on how i drafted a fitted female pants i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can also go and check it out and see what you are missing so my channel has a lot whatever it is you're looking for i got it baby all right guys so for my pants i'll place my tape on my uh, waistline that is that starting point that i drew could also be my waistline so i place that on my waistline and from there i'm going to get my crotch dead so for you to get your crotch dead you divide your hip by four and that was that's it for your crotch but if you don't want to do that you can just go ahead and sit on a flat surface place your tape on the tiniest part of your waist and um, measure from that point to where your butt touches the flat surface and that will be for your crotch it's as simple as that so now that i've gotten my crotch line i'm going to just go ahead and mark it across with a horizontal line so after marking that i'm going to also um, place my hip measurement so from my waist to my hip that is the distance from my waist to hip is eight inches so i'm going to just mark eight inches all across my paper and then use my pattern master to also draw a horizontal line so i'm just marking it across just to make sure that i have an even distribution of the eight inches equally on all parts of the paper okay so i'm going to take my pattern master to draw a horizontal line to connect all of the points that i have marked which is the distance from my waist to my hip so i'm just going to level what each of the parts is the first line is my waistline the second part is my hip line and the third line is my crotch line okay so now i'm going to place the length of my shirt so i'll place my tape on my waistline and from there i'm going to be placing the length of the shirt so for this shirt i'll be making use of 15 inches so I'll mark 15 inches on that line, on that point, and I'm going to distribute 15 inches all across the paper. And after that, I'm going to just use the pattern master to create a horizontal line to connect all of the points that I marked together. Okay, so now we're going to place all of our measurements. Your hip measurements divide by four. You're going to place it on your crotch line. You're going to place it on your waistline. And you're also going to place it on your hip line. So your hip divided by four, that's quarter of your hip measurements. You can add half an inch uh, as your ease on the hip line. But I'm going to just leave mine like that. So I placed my hip measurements on my waistline my hip line and also on my crotch line and i'm just going to connect the three points together with a straight line so now after connecting the three points with a straight line next thing we are going to do is to get the crotch extension so for you to get your crotch extension what you need to do is to divide your hip measurement by four so when you divide your hip measurement by four whatever value you have you also divide it by four again so for my i had 10 inches divided by four i had 2.5 so i placed 2.5 on the crotch extension from that line that i drew from my crotch up until my waistline i placed my tape on that line and got 2.5 so from that point i mark 2.5 and then i'm going to just create the uh, crotch curve that you normally see on your short pants or your female pants or whatever pants it is you're making so i'm just going to place my pattern master there and create the curve so now that i've created the curve next we're going to move over to the um, waistline so for my waist you're going to be taking your measurement. Note that your measurement is starting from the crotch line. So from that line that you placed on your pants, that is where you're going to place your measurement at. So from that point, I'm going to get my waist measurement plus uh, one inch for that. So my waist is 30 divided by four. I had 7.5 and I added one inch that, which is um, 8.5. So I'm going to connect from my waist to the hip line with a curve. So now that we've created the curve for the waist down to the hip, 
Next, we're going to um, create the uh, dart for those pants and also we are going to move over to the length of the pants of the short. So for the dart, I'm going to take 4.5 inches. That is uh, my bust span divided by 2. My bust span is 8 inches divided by 2. I have um, 4 inches. So I'm going to place 4 inches from that line, from that straight line on the waist. I'm going to place 4 inches there. And I'm going to open it up by half inch on both sides. So for the length of the dart, the front of for the front pattern of the, the pants of the short, sorry, the length of the dart is going to be four inches. So I'll mark four inches from the midpoint, and also going to mark a diagonal line to connect the dart legs together. Now next up, you're going to take your tape, place it on your crotch line and measure what you have there. So from your crotch line, from the edge of the paper to where your crotch is and the crotch extension, measure what you have and get the midpoint. And also place that midpoint on your hemline as well. And you're going to connect these two parts with a straight line. So now after connecting it with a straight line, I'm going to be placing my tie measurements on my hemline. Uh, because my from the distance from my cross to the the hem of the short is not long and that falls within the range of my tie so i'm going to be using my tie measurements on that line so for my tie i have 24 inches and 24 divided by 2 i have 12 inches so what i'm going to be doing is to place the 12 inches on the midpoint so that line that i drew which is going to be the grain line i'll place um six inches on that line and i'm going to distribute the 12 inches at both sides of my pants so that will be for the hem now after distributing that next i'm going to take my pattern master to just connect the points together so i'll connect the out seam before connecting the in seam so you're connecting from the point where you marked on your hem line and you're going to be connecting it all the way up to your crotch and up to your hip line so for the inner seam for the inseam i'm going to be connecting from my crotch line to where the six inches that i marked on my hemline is so on this crotch line you can either decide to just draw a straight line for your pants or just give it a slight curve if you want whichever way you want it it will still be fine so for the hem line, for the hem, the seam allowance of the hem line, I'm just going to open that up by half an inch, just so that when we fold the pants over, we have enough uh, material or room to work with. So after that, we've created the hem line for the down part of the short. Next, we are going to go ahead and create the pocket and the zipper fly. Now, I'm not going to do that because if I do that the video is going to be very long so i'm just going to um fast forward this a little bit so if you've not seen a video on how i drafted uh, a pocket on my trouser and a zipper fly as well i'm going to leave that in the description box so that you can go and check it out okay so we are done drafting the front i have my uh, my zipper fly i have the pocket bag and the pocket facing I also went ahead to add all of my annotations on the pattern and also do note that when you cut this you're cutting two pieces of this so for the back i placed my front panel on a separate sheet of paper and i traced off the back the front pattern without the sewing allowance on it so for the back you're going to extend the crotch by two inches for the back crotch extension and from the two inch point you're going to be marking half inch below that point so for the crotch extension for the back you extend the line of the crotch by two inches and below that line you're going to place half an inch below that line so on also the crotch extension you measure what you have on that line for the front um, extension and you take that measurement upward on your hip on your waistline so I had 2.5 so I'm going to be placing 2.5 above my waistline and also go back and tilt your tape angular towards the 
um, your crotch line for the front and mark two inches the essence of this is so that when you connect from your half inch lower than your crotch extension line you also have a guide to work with when you get to the curve so we're going to be tracing off the shape from that half inch slope and up until the curved part of the crotch and up to the top of the pants so when you trace off to that point you can now go ahead and use your ruler to mark your straight line so just make sure that the points connect with each other so that's what i'm doing i used my pencil first and i'm going to just later on use the marker to highlight all of the points that i've marked okay so now after marking off the points the crotch extension for the back has been formed next we are going to move to the waistline so for the waistline you're going to extend the waistline also you're going to extend the waistline outward because the waistline is not going to be as straight as the waistline of the front so the waistline of the back is not going to be as straight as the waistline of the front so we are extending the line of the waistline outward as well so after extending the waistline outward you measure what you have on your waistline so on my front i had 8.5 so i'll take it up on my back as well and measure 8.5 now do note the way i tilted my tape on a slant uh, position so make sure that you tilt yours as well on a slant position and mark where 8.5 is on your pattern and just draw a slant line to connect to that point where your back waist stops so now that we have that you can see that the front and the back waist is not together so i'm just going to bring down that line to make sure that it connects to my hip line so for the back i'll bring down the line to connect to my hip line so i'll move to the crotch line of the back so for the crotch line of the back i'm just going to or mark it down from there down to the hemline so basically approximately i'll be making use of 1.5 inch just so that uh, i have enough room there and also i won't be adding any seam allowance at that region because i had enough to work with as the seam allowance as well so i'm just going to bring down the crotch line for the back and and open up the a half inch on the hemline as well so after that i'll add half an inch on the waistline at the sides of my trouser and also at the crotch line as well so for the back that you measure your back that's for the front wherever it is place it on the back now note that you're measuring your dart the same way the back is slanted you're not going to be placing your dart straight your dart is going to be the way it's your back is slanted so for the back that i'll be making use of five inches and i'm making use of my bust band divided by two which is four and i'm going to be opening up the dart legs by half inch on both sides and i'm just going to mark that so after marking down the dots i have all of my points ready i'm just going to mark that and highlight the point so the front and the back shorts is ready next we are going to be adding a waistband and also a pocket and like i said a zipper fly to it so in this video you're not going to be seeing that maybe perhaps in the future i'm going to be making a video on how to cut a waistband and a pocket and how to attach a waistband and a pocket separately so in order for this video not to be too long we have to cut out that part to do it next time so I have all of my parts ready. I have the front and the back. I have all of my piece ready. I'm going to just indicate what this is. And you're cutting this on fold as sorry, you're cutting this this on your pattern two pieces as well on your fabric. You're cutting the back two piece. You're cutting the front two piece. So now we are almost done with this, and we are going to just go ahead and cut out the pattern. So after cutting out the pattern, this is what it looks like. I have the front. I have the bag, I have the uh, waistband, the pocket, and the pattern is ready to be tested on my fabric. Now, if you watch this video up to this point and like this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. 
and if you're not yet subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for please subscribe to my channel let's grow together i'd like to see you guys in my next video until i come your way next time yes and do stick around i'll be doing a sewing tutorial on how i was able to sew those shirts and the crop uh, top as well so stay tuned to this channel and watch out for the sewing tutorial of the crop top and the short pants until i sell until i see you next time in my video do take care of yourself and remain positive wherever you are bye